hotspot properties are very very simple it's basically like an invisible button as I was saying and if you double click on your hotspot so I'm just going to go ahead and continue on with the project that we had built here and I'm going to double click on my hotspot you'll see that basically you're missing now the settings tab so you've got just the attributes and actions tab if you go in the actions tab you've got the typical events that you're used to for clickable objects you've got the on click event the on enter event and on leave event so on enter is when the user puts their mouse over top of the object and on leave is when they take their mouse off of the object on click obviously is when they click the object and in the attributes panel here you'll notice that you have just the standard stuff you can name your object you can set up a tool tip again here you can toggle the enabled state for this on and off you don't have a visibility state that you can toggle because obviously it's an invisible object and uh, in addition we've got the custom cursor and spell check for the tool tip and we can numerically size or reposition our object here and set sounds for the mouse events okay so basically it's a very very simple process it's exactly like um, it would be for a button or a label or something like that but without the settings tab available in the in the properties dialog okay so let's go ahead and take a look at some hotspot actions